For the stage door, I'm going to use this image of a castle and its gate. First thing is, this is a very large image. It doesn't have to be this large for the assignment, so I'm going to scale it down. 350 tall is fine. And since I'm going to be working with transparencies, I'm adding an alpha channel. So right now I have one layer called Castle, and I'm going to rename it for our purposes just Wall. Next I'm going to add a layer. I want it black. The foreground happens to be black. I'm going to name it black and put it below Wall. And then one more layer that I'm going to create. I'm going to cut out the castle gate, which tool you use may depend upon your particular image. And I'm going to paste it in as a new layer. Let's move it into position to where it was originally. And I'm going to name that door. And now move that down to be between black and wall. This is the order that we're going to be working with for the rest of the lesson. Black, door, wall. Now with all of that, Let's duplicate the layer, each of these layers, and arrange them in the proper order so that it's now black door wall, black door wall, as we read from the bottom upwards. Here I'm going to merge this layer down and merge this layer down also. At this point I'm going to come back up here, choose the door copy, and I want to start swinging it. So I'm going to choose the perspective tool, select that layer, move it inward, the, the top corner, and down a bit and the bottom corner I'm going to move inward the same amount and upward slightly. Let's do a transform and you can see that it looks like it's open slightly now. Now we need to take this floating selection let's name it door 1 and move it down to where the door copy was it's now a blank layer because of the transformation. And we will duplicate all of these layers again. Put them into the correct order. So once again we have black door wall, black door wall. Turn these off for just a moment. I'm going to merge this copy down, this copy, merge it down. And if we turn it on and off, you can see there's a bit of a sense of motion. Once again, we're going to duplicate each of these layers. Arrange them into the expected order. So again, it's black door wall, black door wall. Turn these on, get the perspective tool, wrong selection, make sure you have the door selected, and we are going to bring it in some more and down, and this corner we're going to bring in 
and up. It gets to be a little bit difficult to keep things even, transform it. And now we'll come back here, merge this layer down, merge this layer down, and we can start to s really see the movement. Once again, we're going to duplicate these layers. Arrange them into the order again so that we have black door wall, black door wall. We'll turn these layers on, select the door layer, the perspective tool, in and down, in and up. Transform. I think we need to do it a bit more. So bring it in some more and down. Bring it in some more and up. Make some finer adjustments, transform it. And we only need one more layer after this, so I'm not going to do another duplicate. I'm going to merge this down, merge this down, and now I'm going to do the f layer for fully open. Come back to the door. Perspective tool is still selected. Really squeeze it in and pull it down. Squeeze the bottom in and up. Transform it. Merge this one down. Merge this one down. And now we have it from closed to fully open. Now this is for the opening. We need to also do a closing sequence, but it's much simpler. I'm just going to come back down here to this layer, duplicate it, and move it to the very top. Come back to this one, duplicate this layer, move it to the very top, come down here, duplicate this layer, move it to the very top, and then come down here, duplicate this layer, and move it to the very top. So now we have a full sequence. The last step, let's run it through the animation playback. And that's not too bad. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to add a time mark to it. I'm going to have this fully closed for one and a half seconds, so that's inside of parentheses, 1500 ms. And I'm going to come up here to where it's fully open. I'm going to put in also 1500 milliseconds. Let's take a look at the playback now.
and that looks pretty good. Now you need to make sure that you save it. and that you export it. Be sure to change the, ex the extension to GIF. Choose Export. Notice I made a typo here. I accidentally took out the period. Click Export. Choose as Animation. Frame disposal, one frame per layer. Use disposal for all frames. And export it. Finally, you should locate the file. Double click on it to start it up and see how it plays back in a web browser. And this looks just fine.